Hello again, Broadway gymnasts. Welcome back. So as always, make sure that you have adult supervision, that you have a nice area for you to work with. So today I have um, a huge plan for us. So naturally today is going to be working on flexibility and strength of a certain part of the body. Um, as a gymnast personally, I always had trouble with my ankles because once you roll them once, it is much easier to continue rolling them. Um, so I had to rehab them often. Um, so I have plenty of ankle exercises for you and we're going to run through a whole bunch of them today. Um, so yes, I have um, Sherman up here, the ever watchful guardian who uh, likes to make sure that I am being safe um, and not making loud noises or anything like that. Um, so super cute. So we're going to start off with our normal generalized stretch and then I am going to uh, show you some more focused ankle stretches uh, both within this stretch and then right afterwards. Um, so yeah, um, so it's going to be less about arms today. Um, we aren't going to do very much arm things, um, but we will be doing a lot of legs. So you really want to make sure that you stretch out all of your legs because uh, a bunch of what we're going to be doing as far as like strength wise um, may include jumping. So obviously that's going to include more than just your feet, um, although that's where most of the jumping power should come from. So yes. It's always important to make sure that you warm up all parts of your body. Start over here, making sure we get out those hamstrings, might have, which is always tight. Got my little cheer squad right here. And reaching for the middle. Oh, big yawns, huh? You tired already? Good. And butterfly. Pushing our knees down. Good. And now I want you to go on ahead and do the foot stretch that we have done before in some of our warm ups. We're going to roll our foot. Roll it the other way. And flex. Good, and then go on ahead and do the other foot. Roll it the other way. Point it. And flex. Good. All right, so while you are in this stretch, if your parent or sibling is nearby, one of the things that they can do is they can actually push your toes down. Now, one of the things that is important is to make sure that the knees stay straight because if the knees start bending, now look, your toes are going down, but eh, your toes aren't really what's doing the stretching. So you wanna make sure that your knees are locked down towards the ground and then push the feet down nice and slow, okay? So one of the other things that we can do for that is doing a stretch back up on our toes. So what you wanna do is you kinda of wanna sit on your feet, your hands are gonna go behind you, and then you're gonna roll backwards onto your toes, making sure that your heels squeeze together. So I'm gonna show you that from both angles. So rolling backwards, like this, to wherever now you are stretching those toes. And then I'll show you from the forward what I mean about keeping the heels together, okay? Your heels should be squeezed together. This is them apart, squeeze together, okay? Good, all right. So that is about it for our ankle stretch. So um, now what I want you to do, where did I put it? Ah, it's over here. So I grabbed um, a kitchen towel. Um, if you have like the TheraBands or the resistance bands, uh, you can go ahead and use that. But if not, a towel works just fine. Um, Cause regardless, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be using your hands to hold on to the resistance band or the towel. Um, and you know, with your hands, you can provide more resistance if you know, you don't naturally have one. So, what I want you to do is you're going to hook it around your foot. Um, it would be more around like the top of your foot like this. It doesn't need to be below your arch or anything like that um, because it just needs to be on the balls of your toes. Okay? Your legs are going to be straight out in front and you can pull it towards you to stretch that out. Okay? Good. And you can do it with the same thing on the other foot. And your foot is going to stay flexed. Good. And then 
then you can kind of do the same thing as far as like stretching your foot to the side and stuff like that, just like kind of rotating it around the ball of your foot. But whenever you're doing this, like towards the side, let me turn this way so you can see. So I'm kind of rotating my foot out to the side, right? Because this is important because this is how gymnasts roll their ankles is whenever their ankle goes out to the side and it's not stretched properly, right? So you want the ankle to be flexible on all sides. So here, you can see that I'm pulling my ankle. But similarly, kind of like whenever I told you about stretching the toes downwards, if you rotate your knee, your foot's not doing any of the stretching. Your knee needs to stay still. You need to isolate your body movement just to the foot. That's where you're gonna get that stretch. And you should feel it kind of along the side of the calf, okay? So those are a few stretches that you can do. Another one that you can do to warm up all parts of your um, feet, and this is also a conditioning exercise, is spelling out your ABCs. You can do it with one foot at a time or both of them at the time if you're really talented. Um, but what I kind of recommend, uh, you can do this kind of sitting down and raising your legs or what, um, but if you're kind of just sitting on the floor, it's a little bit difficult to do both of your feet at the same time unless like you're kind of laying down. But again, this is only going to be concentrated to your feet. You should not be using your entire legs, right? So it would be kind of like this, right? Just, just with your feet. A, B, C, D, right? So, so on and so forth. So essentially what happens is you are pointing your toes, you're flexing your foot, and then you're rotating it side to side to create those letters. You can do that as many times as you want. And as you do that, you will start to feel the burn on like these sides of your ankles. That's good. If you build up the muscle, it makes it easier to um, stabilize your ankle and it's less likely to roll. Or if you do roll it, it won't be as bad. So, very important to build up those muscles. Speaking of which, it is now time to move on to our conditioning. So, go on ahead and get ready, guys. Let's get started. Okay, so I love, love, love this exercise because it is so diverse. You can make it as long or as short as you want. You can customize it and you can do um, certain things of this exercise and not others. You can make it more of a cardio workout or you can incorporate a whole bunch of different kinds of conditioning. So you can literally do this ladder like a whole bunch of times and it can be different every single time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to introduce to you a lot of it. So you do not have to do this for the entire workout. You will get exhausted if you do it. Um, so what I have set up for you is called the ladder. So these bunch of just random different household objects are kind of like the rungs of the ladder. What you want to do is you want to jump over them and land in these square blank spaces of the ladder. So at the gym, what I used to do was use the carpet squares, and that would be the blank spots that you would actually land on. So in this case, at home, you're going to be jumping over these objects. So what I have is the towel that I used earlier, my computer charger, pairs of socks, and then a giant fly swatter because I don't like bugs. So anyway, so those are the objects that I'm going to be using. And we're going to start off simple, um, and then we're going to get more and more advanced. Again, you do not have to do all of it. Um, I have done all of these um, like as my ankles got stronger or if I wanted to work specific things. Um, so here we go. So for this, you're going to be focusing the jump coming from your toes, right? So yes, you're going to be using your knees to absorb the landing, but I don't want the jump to come from the knees. It should just be almost like that you're like barely clearing it. Um, yes, you want to jump high if you can, but you want to use more of your toes like this. So if you want to practice that before you get started, go ahead. So here we go. So what you're going to do with these, um, oh, last thing. So I only have set up five jumps. I normally do it 10, right? Because you start from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five. I normally do it to where there are 10. Um, but again, because I have a lot to show you, I'm just gonna keep it at five for now. Um, also, because I don't have enough room, but that's okay. Anyway, so here we go. Love this exercise. So first thing we're gonna start off with is jumps with our feet together. So pretty simple, right? One, two, Five. Okay, now this is on the way back. Okay, here's where things can get interesting. You can either jog back and make it a cardio exercise. You can do lunges on the way back and make your legs even more tired. So then as you keep going, these exercises get harder. You can do push up walks. You can do hollow body holds, roll to an arch hold, roll to a hollow hold. You can do so many, you can do inchworms, right? It can be 
um, an arm, a stomach, a leg, or a cardio exercise on the way back. So whatever you want to do for that day. Next thing you're going to do, sideways jumps. You're going to face towards a wall. Now it's important that as you're jumping, it's your feet that drive the direction sideways. Right? Let me get closer so that you can see. Not that close. Your feet should be directing the sideways movement, not your body. You don't want to turn your body. Your body should stay straight in the direction that you're looking and let your feet drive the sideways movement to develop those side muscles. Okay? So you're going to do it on both sides. Okay? Come on back. And then you're going to do the same thing going this way. Okay? Moving on. Now we're going to do one leg. The exact same thing that we just did on one leg. Okay? So this foot, um, it's kind of indifferent where it goes, but we're gymnasts, so we want to point the toe and try to keep it at either our ankle or our knee. It's easier for the ankle. Um, so again, okay, I'm going to go back. You're going to do it on the left leg. Now this is where you got to pay attention. Now you're going to face the side wall, okay? You're going to go on your right leg all the way down, okay? Once again, go as slow as you need, okay? Facing the same wall, you're now going to do your left leg, right? Notice that I'm taking my time, getting my balance. Facing towards the opposite wall. Left leg, all the way down. Then right leg, all the way down. Okay? So, you can stop there if you want. Or you can say, but wait, there's more! And keep watching. Right? So now what you're going to do is you're going to do um, two forward, one back. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over the first um, gap in the ladder uh, to go to the second one, then jump backwards one. So it is going to look like this. Two forward, one back, two forward, one back, two forward, one back, two forward, one back, and boom, you're done. So there is that. Um, you can do it to the side if you want. Um, I don't do that one as often because um, there are other exercises that you can do um, and that can get a little bit tricky to try to jump to sideways because um, you don't have full ankle power, right? Because you're jumping off more of one ankle than the other, so you won't make it all the time. But you can certainly do it. It's fun to try. Whew. Getting out of breath from talking and exercising and excitement. All right. Where was I? Just did that. Okay. So, the next thing is running exercises. So this is going to involve not jumping, but kind of running in the ladders. So cardio, but it's also gonna be on your toes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do high knees. What's important is to make sure that both of your feet hit the gap in the ladder every single time. You don't wanna miss one, and you don't wanna accidentally double up on one, okay? But it's important that you do go kind of fast, okay? It's gonna look like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? Then you're gonna to face towards the wall. Do the same thing sideways. So as you notice, I came off to the side because, um, well, you can do it in the middle. It's just a little bit more difficult. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm gonna do the same thing facing this way. Okay, will you leave my ladder alone? Okay. Moving on, the next thing that you're going to do is kind of, I'm not sure what these are called. These are kind of like side to side, it also involves high knees. What you're going to do is you're going to be kind of going diagonally through these, okay? So let me show you what that's going to look like. I'm going to slow this one down um, so you can see it. So as you notice, I'm kind of starting off to the side. So I'm going to zigzag over, 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 okay? So it's going to look like this. One, two, three. 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 So as you notice, that kind of zigzagged. Okay? Um, okay, I'll come over here to show this one. So this one, it's going to be kind of the same thing, except you're going to step two feet 
and then go diagonally to go to the next one. So I'm also going to slow this one down and then I'll show you what it looks like as you pick it up. It's really cool. Okay, it's going to look like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so as you notice, two of them took place in the ladder and two of them brought me diagonally towards the next one. Okay, and that's how that went. So now, we're going to make it fast. This is how fast it should be. You ready? I don't think you're ready for this. Okay. Okay, and you do that on both sides. So one is leading with your right leg, and if you come over here to this side, it's leading with your left leg. So, the other thing you can do, the side to side one that I showed you, you can do it with jumps. Okay? Whew. Let's see. Alright, further stepping it up. You can do tuck jumps if you want. Um, although you're getting pretty tired at the end of this, so this can be a separate exercise. Again, you do not have to run all this together. I recommend that you don't. Uh, but here we go. So you can do tuck jumps. Okay, all the way down. Let's see. I think that that is plenty for you guys to practice with. Um, so great job today, gymnasts. Take a breather, drink some water, stretch out your feet after you're done with this. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Um, I know that it really helped me um, rehab my ankles after I had rolled them and then also to help prevent me from rolling them again in the future. So thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day.